Hey everybody, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of testing. I've got a series of PS2 mice here, some of which are also serial compatible, and we're gonna see, despite the claims, which of these mice are actually PS2 and serial compatible. And what I've done is I'm down here in the retro lab and I've actually robbed the mice off of most of the machines. So we're gonna use that in the name of science to try out and see what we see. So to get started, let's start with this Microsoft IntelliMouse. And if we flip this guy over, we'll see that he is actually a serial or PS2 compatible mouse. And this mouse came with an adapter, which you can see here, and I've got the mouse plugged into it. And we're plugged into a serial port on my lovely AST Premium Exec 386SX25 color. So let's do some testing. I've written a little batch file that we can use to test each mouse and see what we see. So let's go ahead and start with this mouse and do a test. We can see here that this mouse was installed on COM1 in Microsoft mode. And we can load menu works. And if I move the mouse up and down, we can see that we have movement here. We can click, exit the DOS. Yes, so that one seems to be a success and the driver has been unloaded. So next up, let's try this precision mouse which I actually got new in box and still have one new in box. You can see the shrink wrap on there. And this one, this mouse also came with an adapter. So let's give this one a shot. Not found. Here's the interesting thing about this. Let's try it again. And on the second try it was found. So that may be a bug in the driver. Now let's move the mouse up and down. We can see that indeed we do have movement, so we'll just attribute that to a driver bug of some sort, but this one does seem to be working. Next up, we have this Gateway 2000 PS2 mouse. And as we flip it over, it says PS2 compatible. And what I've done is I've taken the adapter from my Microsoft PS2 uh, mouse, PS2 slash serial mouse, and plugged it in. Let's give it a shot. Not found. Just for good measure, we'll try it twice. Still not found. So I don't believe that this particular mouse has serial compatibility. Next up, we have this Packard Bell mouse, and I don't have high hopes for this at all. Let's give it a shot. Not found. Not found. So that was with the adapter uh, for the precision mouse. Let's try the Microsoft mouse adapter. Okay, trying the Packard Bell mouse with the Microsoft adapter. No luck. And no luck. Okay, next up we have an IBM PS2 mouse, an original. Let's give it a shot. Not found. Not found. How about with the precision adapter? What are the chances? Let's give it a try. No luck. And no luck. And finally, we have a Micro Innovations mouse. Let's give it a shot first with the precision adapter. No luck. No luck. Let's try it with the Microsoft adapter. Nada. Nada. Okay, so now we're gonna to proceed to test in PS2 mode, and I actually have to go into the BIOS settings on this AST for that and change the mouse connected to to be the keypad port. So we'll make that change, reboot the AST, and we'll test all of our mice in PS2 mode. So first up for the PS2 tests is the Microsoft Serial or PS2 mouse. Let's go ahead and start our tester up. 
found on the PS2 port. Move it around, and we've got mousage. Next up, we have the Gateway 2000 mouse. Installed on the PS2 port, and it works. Next up, we've got the Packard Bell mouse. This is probably blasphemy to connect a Packard Bell mouse to an AST, but it's okay, and we've got mousage. Next up, we've got the PS2 mouse, and no, really, it is a PS2 mouse. Look at that, installed on the PS2 port. How about that? This is where it all began, folks, and it works. Next up is the Micro Innovations mouse, and if you turn it over, you can see it is a browser mouse. This isn't just any ordinary mouse, folks. It's a browser mouse. Give her a test. There we go, looks good. And finally, we have the precision mouse. And let me tell you, boy, is it precise. <laughs> All right, enough joking around, let's give it a test. And it looks like we're good. All right, folks, well, thanks for tuning in and watching and exploring together with us some of the different mice and their connections. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If not, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. There is definitely more to come. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I'm going to sign off for now because I think I have just a few mice to reconnect up <laughs> to all my systems. So uh, I leave you with that and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.